of the bronze medal match. So, new format. Maria Makuri from, originally from Greece there. As referee. So Romand and over, a little bit more proactive to start out with. Again, Igwe Manova from Russia has more experience and she takes a point to prove it. Thank you. So despite competing normally in a heavy category, Romuald and over again has a high disadvantage. Interesting change of coach as well for Romuald and over. into the body there by Romanova no points Romanova goes higher lots of screaming and shouting Kiap to try and generate more power influence the judges but it's not working for them right now it doesn't, definitely doesn't influence the PSS so it's just to give them more power in the kicks or fire the adrenaline as it were So this is the lightest of the Olympic categories for the females. And this is a bronze medal match off between Ukraine and Russia. Just a one point separating it now. That's the point that Iguaneva scored. It separates him at this stage. So just comparing with the male light category, the minus 58s, what we seem to see with the female match is that it's the front leg, the check or the stab, kicking, action, which tends to be a single motion, whereas the men tend to follow up with the second technique so second round of this bronze medal match off Svetlana Igwenova from Russia in blue Irina Romadanova from Ukraine in red just breaking them while they adjust the shin pads the athletes wear quite a bit of personal safety equipment forearm guards, shin guards, groin guards, gloves, gum shield as well as the PSS scoring trump protector and head guard Iguanova going high over Romodanova's body shots The athletes are constantly working, they're not always throwing the kicks, but they're constantly working with little movements and trying to the body shot by the Russian. But, so they're constantly working, There's, the focus is there, and you can very clearly see that 
on Svetlana Iguanova's face there. She's looking for every little action to react to. tries to come off the bat leg there but it's again suffers through the height disadvantage so still just the one point between them look at the front leg action there it tends to be a single action in the women's game right now in this category it's interesting to con contrast the two styles between male and female there's always been a difference between the tactics and strategies employed between the male and female matches As we see the Grand Prix, the high-level athletes here, it's, it's becomes quite a study for Taekwondo. So it's very much the front leg game that a lot of people don't like, the front fencing. But you have to analyse, there's a back kick counter off the back leg by the Russian. You have to look at the technique and develop that skill with the leg control. The timing and the movement, the range is different. You have to try and create the opening with movement and then follow it with a very fast kick off the front leg. Quite often that's matched by a front leg kick. But Iguanova with the reach advantages countering off the back leg. She hasn't got through to score the points but it's definitely happening. Definitely impacting more on the pads. So should this go to Golden Point, then Iguanova would be the probably the favourite. But right now she's got a one-point lead, which we'll be trying to hold on to. So you can see now she's moving around the ring more. She's not holding the centre, she's moving around, engaging, doing the counter to back and then movement round. Romadanova is now attacking more. She knows that she has to get this point pretty quick. We'll watch the Russian move around the court. So rather than holding the ground, she's still that proactive. She's still exchanging lots of kicks, but she's moving around. So the Ukrainian opponent has to chase after her, which she's doing. She tries a back kick. So lots of work, but it's the Russian who's in control of this. Ukraine is chasing, but she's not going to get through. She's trying to signal up, scored a point, but she hasn't. Four seconds. She's signaling, she scored it, but she hasn't. Svetlana Igwenova holds on and takes the bronze medal. Lot of work by Romodanova, but realistically, there's only going to be one winner in that match. That was a Russian Svetlana Igwenova.